Are you tired of getting rejected? Want to improve your social life, increase your sales, become more memorable, or just simply learn to stand out? Hey Brainwash friends, I'm Aaron Tupaz of Positively Brainwashed, and today I'm excited to teach you how to stop being boring. Now if you're someone who likes to be alone with no friends, then this video is not for you. Otherwise, let's get started. The first tip is to send people in an emotional roller coaster ride. There's an old saying by Maya Angelou, at the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did, they will remember how you made them feel. Say this quote a hundred times until it's engraved in your head. So learn to transition back and forth between various emotional topics from thrilling to scary to funny, to heartfelt, to shocking, and so on. Also, don't be afraid to talk about what you truly feel. This is why some 5-year-olds are more interesting than most people in their mid-40s. They can instinctively express how they truly feel because they haven't learned yet to filter themselves based on a society's expectations. So keep this emotional roller coaster in mind throughout the rest of the tips. The second tip is to answer questions with emotions, as if you've never answered them before. If someone asks you where you're from, or what you do for a living, don't just answer, I'm from Canada, I'm an online English teacher. Instead say, oh I'm from Canada, I teach English online to thousands of people around the world without ever having to leave my home. Remember, the way you say something is much more important than the actual words. Next is to understand that even more important than how you say something is your body language. If you want to be memorable, use open gestures and different facial expressions when communicating to people. I can't emphasize this enough. Having a closed or static body language is equivalent to being a boring brick wall. And I have an entire video just on this subject alone. The next tip is to have emergency go-to scripts, so you can walk into any conversation with confidence knowing you have questions you can ask. These are my two personal favorites. Besides work, what makes you excited to wake up in the morning? So, working on any personal projects at the moment? Now there's a chance your conversation partner might ask you these questions back, so you better have good answers prepared. And remember tip number two, to answer like you've never answered them before. And to further help you, tip number five is to spend some time every day pursuing your dreams and goals. Yes, I know, this is a cliche answer, but it's important. Not only will this make you happier, but you'll now always have topics that you'll be enthusiastic to talk about. Now, if you're worried that your passion and goals won't interest your conversation partner, it's not a big deal. Really, because whether you're trying to lose weight, or working on your business to escape the corporate world, or you have geeky hobbies, the important part is your positive energy, because that's contagious. You may even get people to start talking about their goals and dreams. The next tip is to guess things about people, like what they do, what program they're in, where they're from, or whatever. For example, so what do you do for a living? Let me guess. You're a professional football player. Now even if you're wrong, you will make them curious why you thought that, and it usually makes for a great conversation. Now when you're right, well, you sound like a genius or a psychic. And if you're the funny type, you can even guess something obviously way off. Hmm, let me guess. You're Japanese, right? Tip number seven is to challenge people. After someone has told you something like what they do for a living or their hobbies, challenge them with follow-up questions that make them dig deep. A really hot girl who has been approached thousands of times has probably answered the same questions over and over again, with guys simply responding with, Really? Cool. Me too. Instead, ask follow-up questions that dig deep like, Is this something you're passionate doing? or did your parents make you do this? Ask more why and how questions like, so why did you start dancing? Because when you challenge people, your compliments afterwards will sound more validating when your conversation partner 
feels like they earned it. With my English students online, if they give me vague or boring answers, sometimes I even use silence to pressure them to give better answers. Remember, it's about how you make them feel, and making people feel a little awkward, only to make them feel great afterwards for putting in effort will make you memorable. Tip number eight is to sometimes take risks and talk about controversial topics. Now I do caution that you really use your social intelligence on this one, like on how much risk you take given a situation. Like don't announce your political views so openly at work if you think it may get you fired. But for the most part, people don't take enough risks. I would rather have just a handful of friendships where I can talk about anything from moral dilemmas like whether it's right to kill animals, my stances on gun laws, capital punishment, politics, religion, and things that many people are afraid to talk about. Next, become more genuinely interested and curious about others. Please, please don't fake this. Besides our basic needs like wanting food and shelter, people desire to feel important. So just making people feel that you want to learn more about them will make you less boring to their eyes. And make sure you show this with your body language as well, like giving eye contact with your feet and torso facing towards your conversation partner. It may help to turn off your cell phone and not to be so distracted about the environment. Perhaps imagine a little bubble just around the two of you. And as a bonus tip, start your every morning with something that will energize you and get you to think more positively. I personally wake up to my motivational audio alarm clock, so I start my every morning with a positive mindset, and then I listen to affirmations that remind me of all my goals like to work out, to eat healthy, to work my butt off, to read a positive book, and much more. Remember, you won't learn to stop being boring overnight. People who you think are naturals have simply developed positive habits. So by conditioning your mind every morning to become a better version of yourself, you can ensure to develop and maintain these habits and learn how to stop being boring. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, or you don't want me to die, then choose one of the following. You can either A, subscribe and hit the bell button, B, listen to the share bear over there and show that you care, C, watch this video that YouTube is recommending for you, or D, why did you wait this long?